Going in the room, give it up for Richard Stutt, everybody. How are we doing, guys? It's nice to be back. It's nice to be back out. We've got a fucking country back, haven't we? We don't even have to wear masks on the tube, do we? I still do it. I wear masks on the tube now. But um, someone came up to me the other day and he, he looked at me and he said, you don't have to wear that mask anymore, you know, mate. And I took my mask off and I went, yes, I do. I've got COVID. <laughs> yeah, now you want some fucking restrictions, eh, big guy? It's not even the worst thing that's happened to me this week. Th uh, this, this has been filmed, all right? So th this goes out to the person who hacked my bank details and spent £1,000 on Ancestry.com. <laughs> You know who you are. <laughs> Someone got it. Okay. And I would get over these things easily. I, I used to be on antidepressants, but someone stole my antidepressants. Whoever they are, I hope they're happy. But, all right, all right, come on, hey. Let's get these one-liners out of the way, okay? Like, when, when, the, when the guy who invented the USB stick dies, what's going to happen is we're going to lower his coffin in, and then we're going to pull it out, turn it around, and put it back in again. And then... And then when the guy who invented the mobile phone dies, we're just going to shove him in a back of rice and see if he comes back to life, aren't we? <laughs> when the guy who invented the crisp packet dies, we're going to put him on a table, open him up and share him. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... <laughs> So, um, I, 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 don't need, I don't need antidepressants anymore. I've got a better thing. I go on TripAdvisor, don't I? Because I love reading terrible reviews of a restaurant that I used to work in. Because if I'm having a bad day, I just need to know that my old manager, Linda, was having a bad day as well. She's the kind of woman who would buy Nike trainers and congratulate herself for sponsoring a child. But I'd read the reviews and they were fucking delicious. They were great. One star reviews. The food was terrible. Yeah, it was. It was jumped up pub grub. Yeah, no, the manager was horrible. She was. The waiter was drunk. That was me. <laughs> but, but, but the best review I've ever found on TripAdvisor was titled, My Wife Died at the Hotel Boa Vista. Four stars. I thought, I'm fucking reading this. I think we've seen enough death in the last 18 months that we can accept it can be funny at some times, right? Right? Right, someone died from eating too much licorice last year. People die of all sorts now. <laughs> now, but... <laughs> so... There was this other thing, right? I, I, went, I went to my friend's granddad's funeral about three years ago. He died very peacefully at 88, right? And they didn't know what his favourite song was, so they cremated him to the Match of the Day theme tune. And uh, you just got to be allowed to laugh at these things. So I, I, I read this review. My wife died at the Hotel Boa Vista. Long story short, elderly couple went on holiday to Cape Verde, right? And um, she died on day two. So there wasn't much to do apart from write a full review of the hotel. And he gave it five stars for breakfast. Very good continental breakfast. He gave it three stars for the location. He knocked some points off because it was quite far from the nearest hospital. <laughs> and he gave it one star for how did you sleep. And I kind of think it's not the hotel's fault. <laughs> But when I was reading this review, I was walking across the beach, because I was, I was actually on holiday at the time when I was reading it. And I was walking across this uh, beach, and I stood on something, and my foot started stinging like mad. And I thought, fuck, I've stood on the jellyfish. And if anyone's stood on the jellyfish before, you know you've got to get rid of that pain, OK? And I had to try the cure for jellyfish stings on a beach full of hundreds of people, right? And there was kids there. <laughs> I think someone was getting married there, but I had no choice. I had to try the cure for jellyfish stings, and it doesn't even work. It's a myth. I rub shit all over my foot for nothing. So I'm in my mid-30s now, which is an interesting place to be. Uh, I can't really get drunk anymore because I don't get hangovers. I get near-death experiences. <laughs> <laughs> what got this? I can't. In my 20s, I used to wake up with a bit of headache and just go to work. That's not going to happen anymore. I used to drunk dial my ex when I was in my 20s. I look at my phone in my 30s, I've drunk dialed the fucking Samaritans. <laughs> to be fair, that is where my ex works now. 
little bit more about me. I, am, I do actually have a disability. Oh, that causes tension, doesn't it? You haven't seen it yet, don't worry. I do have a disability. I was born with one hand smaller than the other, and it looks like a monster munch. Someone just went, oh, don't worry, love. I get loads of pussy. It's fine. I'm, I'm, 